Welcome back to Out of the Fog. Well, I was down at the St. John's Harbor the other day as the Henry Larson ship was heading out of the Narrows, which was jam-packed with sea ice, as are many areas around the island, which got me thinking, what are they doing right now and what are they seeing on the water? Here to give us some information about this is Rebecca Acton Bond, who is the Acting Superintendent of Ice Operations for the Canadian Coast Guard Atlantic Region. Welcome to Out of the Fog. Thanks very much. Well, it's great to have you here. So I know, uh, all right, I'm assuming that you guys have been extremely busy we have probably been. this entire winter but certainly <laughs> over the last uh, I guess few weeks that's right yep yeah so why is it that we're seeing so much of this packed ice in and around our shoreline and uh, I, I, I just don't remember in my time ever seeing so much as we have right now. Fair enough. So the amount of ice that we have isn't an unusual amount in whole. It's the location that it, w that it is. So all of that ice is usually off of the northeast coast and it's hanging out a little further offshore there. We had a substantial amount of westerly wind and then we had a substantial amount of northerly wind and then some northeasterly. So that westerly w wind blew it offshore, the northerly wind pushed it down and then the northeasterly wind pushed it all along the shore. So it's packed into Conception Bay, Trinidad Bay, Bonavista Bay. Now, Notre Dame Bay and White Bay always have quite a bit of ice, but uh, the other bays aren't used to seeing this amount of pack ice in there at, the, at this time of year at all. Right, so, and it happened quite quickly, would you say? Or? Certainly did, yeah. Um, the pack ice moved very quickly offshore. We had uh, five days of really westerly wind there, so it moved right offshore, and then we had very strong northerlies, and then st very strong northeasterlies. And with any persistent amount of wind, that's where the ice moves. So if you have any persistent wind from any certain direction, that's that's where the ice moves, and that's why we're seeing it down this far. Is there a area, I guess, of the island that is seeing more more than, than others, or is it kind of all sogged in <laughs> then, uh, along the whole shore? It's pretty sogged in all along the ho whole shore. Uh, in Notre Dame Bay and in White Bay, that's where the most pressure is, uh, a significant amount of pressure they, there, but uh, also Trinity Bay, Conception Bay, Bonavista Bay, there's, there's ice pressure warnings pretty well on the whole northeast coast, east coast, and there's an ice pressure warning on the west coast as well, actually. With the northeasterly wind, that's driven a lot of the ice through the Strait of Belle Isle as well. So that's all of this ice came down from Labrador. It's following the natural flow of the current, and uh, it's just being pushed with the wind. Oh, that's gr great information. I, I mean, I'm enjoying <laughs> this interview just because, obviously, we're seeing it. We're seeing so many people who are venturing out, uh, some not as safely as we'd like, but um, uh, obviously there's an interest there. Uh, so good conversation to have uh, have at this time. In terms of the thickness of the ice, I mean, we're seeing some big chunks. Um, but does it vary, I guess, depending on, on where you are? Well, it, it definitely does vary. Uh, some are between uh, two, uh, 20 and 100 meters, and some of them are bigger than that flow size. Now, in, in terms of thickness, there's different varying thicknesses all over the place. But uh, all along the shore, uh, uh, St. John's, Conception Bay, Trinity Bay, Bonavista Bay, you're looking at about uh, six tenths. Uh, so total concentration, uh, total concentration is uh, nine plus tenths and six of that nine uh, is thin first year ice so that's 30 to 70. Uh, three, three tenths of that are uh, medium first year so that's 70 to 120 and then another one tenth of thick first year so that's uh, over 120 centimeters thick so that's four feet thick so that's pretty wow. substantial ice and you're also seeing traces of old ice in there as well. Mm -hmm. So what are the icebreakers I guess what are they doing right now and and what are they seeing because we've been seeing some ships kind of certainly in, in the harbor area. Yeah. Right now, all of our icebreakers are strategically placed around the island. To uh, the, the heaviest icebreakers are in the heaviest ice, and the lighter icebreakers are uh, taking care of the lighter areas. Now, uh, currently, we have uh, uh, an icebreaker, the De Grosier, on the uh, the west coast, taking care of the Apollo. We've got uh, the Terry Fox stationed on the northeast coast, trying to get to the Hazel McIsaac. But the ice pressure is so severe on the northeast coast that it's very difficult to get down to the Hazel McIsaac. And if they do get down to the Hazel McIsaac, it could take a couple days to get back out if there was a search and rescue call. So the ice pressure is so severe right now that we're keeping the, the Terry Fox away, you know, keeping them out of that severe, severe pressure just in case there is an emergency and she would be able to respond. Right. And uh, obviously safety is your utmost concern even when you're going and, and trying to rescue or, or make sure that others are, are doing the safety. Exactly. And now the Terry Fox goes to the North Pole just to give you an idea of how capable that icebreaker is. And for them to say, we probably shouldn't go in there because it's going to take us a couple of days to get out, that can give you an idea of the amount of pressure that you're seeing in Notre Dame Bay. Right. 
How long do you think this is going to stick around? So we need a real significant shift in the wind. We need it to go southerly. Uh, now, southerly winds aren't great for other areas in the island. Now, uh, it's very packed into Trinity Bay, and if we, if we get a lot of southerly or southeasterly wind, that's going to pack it into Bull Arm. And uh, likewise, in uh, Northumberland Straits around PEI, if we get a big blow of wind from the south there, it's going to jam it along the shore. But uh, on the northeast coast, if we had uh, a big blow of southerly wind, that's going to move it offshore. Now, uh, the wind always seems to come around to the north at some point, so it, it, could it could definitely drive it back in. It really depends how long the winds blow from the south. Are you expecting, and I'm just curious because I heard somebody say the other day, which I, I think it was a, a weather person said, you know, I think we're going to be seeing icebergs a lot sooner uh, than we have in previous years, you know? There's a lot of icebergs offshore right now. We just can't see them. So it really depends where the ice, uh, where the wind is blowing again. So if you get a lot of northeasterly winds, it's going to blow them closer to shore. If you get a lot of southerly winds, it's going to push them, push them offshore. Right. So what are you keeping a very close eye on right now? What is, I guess, the, the main concern for you? Uh, Safety is the number one concern. So we have got a lot of people that are trying to get out for the seal fishery and the crab fishery and uh, commercial ships just trying to move around. And uh, where there is so much pressure, we're warning people to, to not go into areas where there, there is so much pressure and um, obviously not get out of harbors where the pack ice is directly outside. So there's a lot of people that are really excited to get out to the seal hunt and we usually by this time we're starting to do our harbor breakouts but with the northeast wind and it being so packed along the shoreline we can't do the harbor breakouts right now because it's just creating a dangerous situa situation. Right, okay. Uh, and then lastly, if anybody has, if anybody needs to contact you, whether you know they're in a situation that they need they need help okay so if they need help then they have to call jrcc so that's that's not my that's, separate, that's yes, my yeah. area so <laughs> that's uh that's search and rescue but if you're looking for a harbor breakout or an ice escort or something like that then you contact ice operations atlantic 772-2078 uh, and uh we'll uh we'll get you a harbor breakout uh we're we require you to fill out a form, the harbor authority or the harbor master, or if there's nobody like that in the town, then your mayor. So just we want everybody in the community to be in agreement to get this harbor broken out uh, before we go ahead and do that, just so uh, nobody's using the ice when we go in there. So safety is the number one concern. All right, and thanks for clarifying that for me. Thanks very much for this conversation. <laughs> uh, it was a pleasure. No problem. All right, folks, we're going to take a very short break, but uh, lots of information there for you. And we've got some more coming up to talk about marine animals. We'll be right back back.